My first um, investment was I bought, for $20, I bought a half an ounce of weed, and I made 13 bags of weed, and that was 65 bucks. And, and I went, I was still, you know, still in the corner, and to half an hour was gone, and that was like, I was an entrepreneur. <laughs> Here's the thing. We do our case study at Harvard Business School. And by the end, they'll say, well, these guys are really smart because they didn't focus on supermarkets. They flew under the radar of Coke and Pepsi. But it's all BS because I was there and I know what happened. Everything that they said that we did intelligently, we tried to do the other way and failed. Up until two years ago, I couldn't work out the difference between net and gross. So uh, in board meetings, people would go, that's good news, Richard. No, that's bad news, Richard. <laughs> My favorite television show was Young and the Restless. She was watching that when I was a little kid, and I think she still watches it today. But since they got some new writers in there, they're messing the whole thing up. My mother, she told me, do whatever you want. You can be an artist, you can be an entrepreneur, you can be whatever you want to be. And that's not, that was not my father's, like, go to school. I have to believe that what my grandparents did to come to America, to start their own businesses, to establish their families, what my parents did, uh, etc. I think it's all part of who I am. People sometimes they focus in on being a risk taker as it relates to business. It really isn't. It's a risk taker or an adventurer when it comes to life.